I am queer. I am a woman. I am an immigrant. I am Filipina. I am a veteran. I was born and raised in the Philippines. My father was an overseas Filipino worker and my mother raised all of us six children. I moved to the United States in 1999 and there started my journey as an immigrant. I am an American Air Woman. I have a sister and brother that served in the Navy. I have another brother in the Army. We are the person you say. Go back to where you came from. Because we are not American. White. What is American? I joined the Air Force in 2008 and separated in 2015. That's a total of seven years of service. I was a medic by trade. I participated in Honor Guard as an additional duty. And in 2014, I deployed to Bagram Air Force Base in Afghanistan. I am, we are stealing your job when only less than 1% is willing to raise their hand and take the oath. Your version of taking the oath is to kill us, dehumanize us, erase us. I will resist. I am overcoming that stat of 22 a day. If you don't know what that is, maybe you should Google it. I serve to make Americans' voices heard. I serve to protect Americans' rights. Carrying the different identities and how they intersect um, affects you as a person on a daily basis. You will always be considered as other and sometimes those different identities that you carry will hit you at the same time out of nowhere and and sometimes what that makes you feel is have fear and you know just how do thinking about how do i survive in this world um without living in fear When I speak of living in fear, I can think of a couple of situations where my identity um, intersect and examined and put on a spotlight. One of the comments from this white cis male was, if I'm in my in the locker room, like I'm scared if someone is gay and they're there. My heart started racing, my um, chest was getting tight, and then I was getting warm. I can feel my ears was getting warm, and then I all of a sudden just blurted out. Just because someone is gay, that doesn't mean that they want to sleep with you. I blurted out because I'm a lesbian. Same time, same day, same place. Again, I was going through the same body reaction. And since I've already confronted him the first time, and I might be in trouble already, why not do it for the second time? Walang makakatigil Brown, brown woman Rise alamin ang yung ugat They got nothing on us Nothing on us Nothing on us Nothing on us Island woman rise Walang makakatigil Brown, brown woman Rise alamin ang yung ugat They got nothing on us Nothing on us Nothing on us Nothing on us Island woman rise Walang makakatigil Brown, brown woman Rise alamin ang yung ugat They got nothing on us Nothing on us
on us. Nothing on us. Nothing on us. So how about instead of thank you for your service, don't kill us, don't dehumanize us, don't erase us. See me, us as a person, give me, us, our humanity. Treat me, us, as human beings. Treat me, us, with dignity. This project is supported in part by the National Endowment for the Arts on the web at arts.gov. What does it mean to learn and embrace my identity? What does that mean with my family and sacrifices and my actual experience as a queer person? When I was coming out, I felt like I was the only one. And I didn't have my community. I didn't know where to find my community. And so I figured if I'm going to interview people and ask about their coming out story, why don't I first share my own story? And me creating this about myself, I think I'm ready to be that representation for my community.